Hey guys, Bots and Blasters here. Today we're going to take a look at the Blitz 6, or as I like to say, the Blitzy, because essentially it makes it look like another E there. It's claim it shoots up to 100 feet, and it auto advances. Cool. We also see it's done by Adventure Force, but actually if we look at the packaging here, it is done by Busby Toys. So this is a Busby Adventure Force Blaster, not a Primetime Toys Adventure Force Blaster. The reason why it shoots so far, quote unquote, is because it's using these long distance darts, which are lighter, but they're terribly accurate. I mean, they're a step up from Elites, but I would not use them in war. Let's go ahead and look at the back. Here, once again, shoots up 200 feet. We get a nice product shot. How do you use this blaster? Step one, put dart in. Step two, pull prime. Step three, plink. Pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. So included is the blaster itself as well as the long distance darts. Uh, I like that they have them in their own self-contained little container. You don't have to open them if you don't want to. I will be using this with wobblehead darts because those are far superior. This blaster is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, as I'm pretty sure everyone who's handled a Reflex 6, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be compared to. Same problem that everyone else has, which is this yellow part impacts into your finger, making it a less comfortable experience. This yellow part is easily removable and does not leave a gaping hole in the blaster. But I will be using it as is just for the sake of this uh, video and this demonstration. The prime is pretty, pretty clicky, pretty beefy. And sounds like there's an air restrictor in there, which isn't surprising. Loading the darts. I'm curious how far they actually see in. Yeah, this is what I don't like when darts kind of hang out from the front like this because that creates a lot of wibble wobble. Which leads me to think this barrel will be really good to uh, take it out, open it up, so that we could feed halflings in there. Here's how it looks fully loaded. For the sake of comparison, I went ahead and got a halfling dart of the ruby variety, and you can see it's literally almost sticking out about almost a halfling dart. So I think this could very easily be adapted to shoot halfling darts no problem so what features does this blaster have honestly not a whole lot it's a very simple very basic very standard blaster which isn't a bad thing to be the type of thing you can hand to somebody who's new to a war or who's new to nerfing in general and just uh, let them have a little fun with it and i could see this as a very fun first mod project for somebody who's never modded before there's no real iron sights Essentially, you're just pointing at and shooting. A lot of detailing that's sculpted in that can easily be painted over if somebody really wanted to do something with it. Okay, so how does it feel in the hand? Um, in the hand, like I said, it's... The hand itself, for me, it feels fine. I have big man hands with the exception of this part here that impacts into my index finger. Let's go ahead and do some firing now. Okay, guys, gonna try to get this firing demo off real quick. It looks like rain. So, got six wobble heads in the chamber. Uh, we're shooting at my no man's land, old school, dystopia rising large shield, and that's our target. It's about 30 paces away. So, first one. Ooh, that was weak. Ooh, that was very weak. <laughs> one, so far. That was that would be a headshot more or less. Two. So two and a half, depending if your game counts headshots. Six more loaded in, ready to go. And the prime is very beefy and it rotates on the prime. That would have been a headshot. That would have been a body shot. Headshot. Body shot and a dead on center mass shot. So, is this blaster a purchase or a pass? I would say, unless you have a project in mind, this would be an easy pass. Um, not that it is necessarily a bad blaster, it's definitely good for first time nerfers, first time uh, people who want to mod and they're afraid to mess up anything serious because this is only seven bucks. You can't mess it up for seven bucks. 
But anywho, guys, that's about it for this blaster. Um, they should be at your local Walmart. They barely showed up on mine. So that's why you're getting the review a little late. <laughs> Till then, guys, I'll see you next time on the battlefield.